Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that the long wait is over and Microsoft has just announced the general availability of Windows 11 version 24H2, also known as the Windows 11 2024 update. Now, this is just a quick video just to let you know about the updates. Um, I'm not going to post a whole feature list in this video. Just putting it out there to let you guys know that it is now generally available. Now, this is the release that Copilot Plus PCs have received um, since the 18th of June earlier this year. And now the update Microsoft has announced earlier today on the 1st of October 2024 that they are now beginning to roll out Windows 11 24H2 to the rest of the Windows 11 user base. Now, Windows 11 24H2 is a major Windows release. So it's going to contain a good couple of features and, uh, and under the hood improvements, which I will post on as soon as I can get the update downloaded on to, onto my device, maybe in the next day or so. But what you need to do, and because it is now generally available, your first point of call if you want to get the update is head to your Windows Update page and make sure that you have this toggle turned on. Get the latest updates as soon as they are available and start seeking and checking for updates. That's the safest way to get the updates because um, you will only get the update for, as an example, if you have no compatibility holds on your device where maybe there's driver issues or software issues. And obviously, when Microsoft rolls out these major feature updates, they do it in a phased approach. So most users, including myself, most probably won't see it now through checking for updates, even though we've got this toggle turned on. But just keep checking over the next couple of days and you may be in luck and start seeing the update appear, which will be optional. And then you'll have the chance to download and install the update. But just take note, it's a major update. So it's going to take a lot longer to install than a normal cumulative monthly update. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you don't want to wait, like um, I don't for the channel, what you can do is you can head over to the download Windows 11 and here we can see it's been changed to version 24H2 so it's officially available and what I like to do if I don't get it through the Windows update page for the purposes of this channel obviously I like to force the update so what I would suggest your next best option would be is to download the Windows 11 installation assistant which will now update you to Windows 11 version 24H2. This is the next best option. And then you can create Windows 11 installation media with the uh, media installation wizard, or you can download the ISO image file, which is now available for 24H2 um, by clicking on Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for 64-bit uh, devices. So just a quick video to put it out there. Um, as mentioned, I'm not going to get into all the features. That's a video for another day, but it is available. The download page even says Windows 11 2024 version 24H2. So just take note, though, that this is going to be rolling out very slowly. So for some, you may not even see it in Windows Update, uh, maybe till the next month or so, or even um, if you have any problems with your machine or compatibility holds, you may only see it in the next couple of months unless you want to head over to this page, as mentioned, and use one of the options available. And I'll leave this download page uh, linked down below. But the safest way, if you want to ask me um, for my recommendation for the average person, is to wait for it to become available on this page. But you don't have, if it does become available, you don't have to install it. It's optional. So if you don't want to head in that direction now, you can just ignore the update if it does become a possible if it does uh, become um, available but uh, just letting you guys know the wait is over and general availability now of version 24h2 is now rolling out according to microsoft in an announcement they made earlier today so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one